thank you so much all the speakers this is very crisp presentation very brief uh, presentation about the a1 and a2 milk and many of us do not have this concept of uh, uh this milk what is the difference between this is we are having consuming packet milk and it doesn't mean that packet all the packet milks are a1 milk and all the packet milk are harmful so from birth also many people are taking this uh, a1 milk so uh, now we will uh, move to the question we already have question in the chat box then uh, i invite all the speakers to come to the screen already shobhik and kostav is there and other speakers please be on the screen uh we will have the discussion sanjana bindre uh, i have came across a study that uh, sanjana can you please unmute and share what you learned uh, bijoy ma'am has left we want some feedback from bijoy ma'am but though she has left okay sanjana bindre i invite you uh, for your feedback whatever studies you have gone through hi hi uh, good Hi everyone, I'm Sanjana Hi. here. Yeah, so um, yeah, I felt that the uh, you know this uh, topic on uh, milk controversy is really something which I was looking forward to help me understand the insights of what is the difference between um, A1 and uh, A2 milk because nowadays we see that so many uh, when we go to the market also it's labeled as A2 and A1 milk. so it is actually important for a consumer to understand what is the difference and what are the health benefits of it because nowadays people do ask oh, which milk can be consumed and yeah the research studies are also very informative so yeah i kind of enjoyed this session i was really um, happy with the way you know the research articles and all were uh, put up thank you so much uh, ms sanjana, sanjana for giving your valuable feedback uh, so uh, any questions so far or any feedbacks you can you are most welcome we, we have some seniors also we have some seniors also sanjana you can mute yourself now mute yourself now Uh, any uh, feedback from my seniors also senior madams are also there momdi uh, you always support me always you uh, present so momdi can you uh, suggest because every day you are seeing many pcos patient many pediatric patients every day in your hospital so uh, mom bhattacharya ma'am i can invite you to say what are the complications generally facing after taking the milk for especially for the children Uh, hello good evening everyone uh, good evening. the problem good evening the problem is that the many of the children is uh, are face, facing the constipation one of the reason of having uh, milk and related allergies constipation stomach ache near the umbilic uh, umbilus and um, nausea feeling full every, all the time throughout the day not uh, feeling any hunger uh, signals and not feeling any hunger sensation and the problem another problem is the smell problem this is typically a, a separate problem but the smell problem feeling some some uh, nausea um, after having milk and the basic problem the main uh, problem is the, yeah constipation constipation severely hard Severely. Many doctor, the exam totally pediatrician asks to stop meal because of the exactly. constipation. But what we learned from today's session, Mumbi, mm -hmm. that this A2 milk, what is coming from our own Indian breeds, though it is very rare to get now the pure Indian cow milk, mm -hmm. but still uh, many uh, companies are coming with these pure breeds also. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, in our father's time in our father's uh, sir, time our grandfather's to, uh, time we sir, never yeah. heard uh, may i sir we never heard any complications with any milk products they used to consume lots of milk even babies used to consume lots of milk in our father's times but nowadays if we see that there are many complications especially what mom madam has said that the stomach discomfort or the constipation so bloating also is happening bloating. 
Uh, also okay, happening yes. for, very, uh, uh, for consuming so the milk. People switch to the health supplements or health drinks mainly because they are totally okay. avoiding milk. But if we consume exactly. this, uh, really this desi milk, so maybe we can get rid of this problem. Problem because we can see in the presentations there are many research to support that uh, even we can avoid type one diabetes and even you can avoid some genetical problems, mm -hmm. sudden uh, death. Uh, thank you, Anona. So, Shorudi, what do you want to add? I just, one thing I just want to. Uh, Hello? Mom, Hello? Madam wants to say something. Ham, oh, one ham, thing I just ask, normally what is happening that uh, if we find some PCOS or PCOD patient, normally we would like to say okay, uh, don't have lots of uh, milk and milk uh, byproduct. So do you suggest to have this kind of milk for the PCOS or PCOD patients? Do you find any relevance uh, in this A2 milk with PCOS? Have you find with any research or anything? Normally, uh, we uh, you don't have. Huh. Yes. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Uh, there Hi. are uh, several research studies are there. Uh, all, so all of not totally uh, covered but so, ma'am I just want to uh, share something that we, the A2 milk is always our better for our health. Okay. Uh, their research articles reveals only one thing that BCM7 that is the uh, main culprit in the A1 milk so the, that causes serious health issues. So it can be uh, slow uh, consumption of slow ingestion or daily consumption I can say. So it can also lead to death also. So that very much uh, poisonous uh, substance are there in the A1 milk. So as I say that A2 milk we have some medicinal values because yes, only yes. of the histamine, hist histidine, or you can say better, histidine and proline. Yes. There is only one amino acid change in the 67 that is change. Yes. And this yes. is making a big difference uh, between the A1 and the A2 milk. And the A2 milk which are coming from the pure breeds of India or maybe Pakistan or maybe Bangladesh or maybe Nepal. These are all pure breeds from South Asian countries. So a milk tab actually uh, working as a medicine. So maybe we can try for the PCOS patient. There are few brands. We should not promote any brands here, but the one brand is coming. With popular now in TV at this country light. So they are coming with this A2 milk. Mm -hmm. May, maybe we can try. Uh, actually, uh, I have some IBS problem. IBD Mondi very well know. Uh, my treatment was mm -hmm. going in better and everything. So I was trying it for last one month. So I am not okay. having that kind of problem. Even with the card from the packet milk of A1, I am having some problem, but when I am taking, but though their fat content is high, they do not give any double toned milk. So you have to remove that uh, uh, malai from the milk and you can take consume the milk. Uh, but it is very good in taste also. And it is also uh, giving uh, that is I, I am uh, fortunately I'm not having any uh, like uh, digestive issues or digestive problem after consuming even at night sometimes so, uh, i'm taking a cup that of <laughs> okay yeah, actually i mean to say that maybe this a2 milk even we can uh, promote in any ways je amader nearby je walara ache tader kache jodi kono erokom dhoroner desi breeds ache but we can see in bangladesh sir sir mane je eta ki bole je gochala theke je dudh ta pacchi otao direct ene khe neo ta onek better je proper je pasteurizations ar ar je process gulo ache seta bad diyeo jodi direct gochala theke dudh ta asche seta khawa onek better rather than any other kind of but from the Goshala also you are getting the cross breed or the A1 breed, especially uh, those who are uh, for purposefully rearing the cows for business. Mm -hmm. So because this A2 production is less now, many breeding procedures are coming because as we came to know from this slide that this Australia, the, sorry, this Brazil, this first cow was taken. 
and mm -hmm. the, uh, the cow this is gir cow from gujarat which was pro producing 16 liter to 20 liter of milk in india now it is producing 60 liter of milk in brazil so our own breed jat unnayan jeta ke in bengali bola hoy so seta korar poreo dekha jacche je this cow can produce lots of milk in the business perspective also but whatever we are taking because milk is a major thing a major food group so many things even alzheimer's can be treated with a2 milk even many neuro problems can be treated with a2 milk so we can give as a dietitian we can give a try to this many research we have to because i have some interest but i have very less knowledge about these two kinds of milk though our students today has cleared some of our doubts but we have to go for long long research then we can conclusion because the availability of a1 milk that is foreign breed is so high in india that it is hardly difficult to get this a1 milk. So, uh, another thing that i want to ask the what about if the if this a2 milk con uh, contains high percentage of fat then can we provide to the dyslipidemic patient those who are having problem with the high cholesterol or uncontrolled cholesterol that cannot be controlled through medicine and uh, diet and fat we are uh, recommending 1.5 gram fat per 100 ml in a double tone whereas yes. these are like 4.5 gram of fat yeah, or high sometimes uh, 4 gram it is too high but ami jokhon dekhchi eta malai ta tule nawa hocche eta khub thin hoye jacche dudh ta if you are keep refrigerating for for one night then you are removing the malai again after boiling if you are removing the malai it is becoming thin and if we consider the total cholesterol jemon amra for our dyslipidemia patient we are recommending egg within the permissible limit so we need 200 to 300 milligram of cholesterol per day if we keep other things like hmm. ghee, butter, and if we discard some other thing, and at and least we can, oil. Yeah, just 100 ml, ki, 150 ml, A1, A2 milk card, then we can do it. So, this is a problem. We can do it. We can do cholesterol cut do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We the mothers are solely depend on milk. Milk is the they solely depend on milk for, for one glass or two glass of milk. For yeah. them, at least, we can try. And this is a very new thing uh, to me also. So for them, we can try because uh, if you see Mondi, many research are coming that it is like poison and the A2 is like medicine. So this is the difference. Even the A1 is the foreign breeze. They are not accustomed with the climate of India. They are uh, mainly accustomed with the climate or the cold climate. So even when they are coming to India, they are not producing that quality of milk which they are supposed to produce. So this I think... Can we physically be able to reduce the fat percentage? Uh, I like fat know from this. I, I, I don't have the clear idea. Exactly. I think the photos that uh, a thick malai is coming uh, from this. Exactly. How much, how much we be able to reduce the fat percentage from 0.5 to how much? If we um, taking if we are taking two times malai or three times malai from that fatty milk, so how much is um, that fat percentage? Are we, are we, are we, we can. Fifty percent, can we can we reduce? I think, I think because I am when I am finding that I am removing the malai, the milk is become thin now, very thin. Because my mother used to do this, so she used to tell me that when I am removing the malai from the milk, uh, it is becoming very thin. But I ideally, as a dietitian, I ideally as a dietitian, we do not re uh, recommend this because on a patient, I am under such a shape, I am short to lay high. In the amra tau recommend kuri jena double tone. But in the current scenario, carbohydrate is becoming culprit. So in the uh, current PCOD or, uh, or um, that is diabetes diet chart, we are reducing carbohydrate from 60% to now 55 or 50% 50 of carbohydrate. So in that case, a little bit of fat will not create so much of problem. 
whereas this milk is giving some medicinal values so as this milk is giving some medicinal values we can give it as a try we can promote it as a try for our patient but we in very less amount instead of giving 250 instead of giving 250 ml of uh, double tone milk we can 100 ml for at least 150 ml of 100 ml of milk for i check for this uh, other uh, patients also then we can understand uh, thank you momdi any question so far before we before we close from our student kriti tapa shagorika pal ritika any question have you understood the difference between these two two milk otherwise atanu or shourodip can make you understand everybody understood the difference srijita yes sir yes shunanda sir. ji any comment shunanda ji has finally joined shunanda ji was trying from yesterday to join thank you shunanda ji for joining shunanda ji bodhay prothom ta shunte pa because it is a controversial topic yes shangita ha sir amar ekta question ache ota a1 ba a2 milk ni noy question ta hocche sir amar cyst ache actually to mane dudh ta double tone je bolchen oi dudh ta ki ami joto ta jol koto ta dudh mishiye bar bar putiye sob theke tule nebo na ki kore khabo ota no no double ton to is not required to boil and uh, discard because it is already very less amount of fat almost fat free it is only 1.5 gram of fat in uh, that is uh, total 100 ml so no need to, if you are consuming double ton milk no need to boil and discard the malai but when you are consuming the locally available milk or the oh. a2 milk then you have to maybe in near future a2 milk will also come no, in sir, double फर्चुनेटलीमिस्ट्री Komal ma'am, do you want to suggest anything uh, as you? Sorry you for interrupting, sir. Uh, sir, uh, sorry for interrupting. But, yes. but the um, Amul company has already launched A2 milk packet. A Amul Deshi means it yes. is. It has covered almost eighty uh, percent of the Gujarat. Gujarat. Because my yes. my my sister is staying there. She is using that A2 milk. Uh, that is Amul Deshi. Because it is a competitive milk. market, na Swati. So A2 yeah. milk they will come with these types of packet as. uh we can see otonu has nicely explained that part that controversial uh, yes, thing yes. it was it was very fantastic uh, presentation and first thing is this uh, everything was so crisp and so informative na i couldn't live even when sir even for a second i didn't live the uh, presentation it was, it was very so small nice and so nice presentation it was not yeah. so elaborate presentation but everything was there in the presentation yes thank you boys for making this mm. successful Uh, Komal ma'am, do you want to suggest anything for uh, not for A one A two, but for your children, for your pediatric patients? No, not pediatrics. Good evening, everybody. Ah, uh, the thing is, there was one question regarding you know um, uh, removing of the fat from the milk. Okay. so basically this uh, problem occurs when we are counseling patients who are from the interiors where they have no options of you know of getting that packet pasteurized milk so and the person who is obese and if if you look into the from the uh, child uh, pe pediatric section uh, the uh, parents they are very much compelled in giving milk to the pediatrics 
or even to the adult even the adults have many adults they have the habit of taking a glass of milk in the morning with breakfast and in the orissa and asa orissa uh, and bihar i have seen they are more prone in taking milk than west bengal so they will yes. take two glass of milk in a day it is it is very much surprising and if you relate this which even i related when one of the nephrologist a renowned nephrologist we had a session with him so he said and he asked why you want to give milk to humans this is true uh, i was a bit shocked in if you look around what the answer he gave none of the animals mammals none of the mammals love they eating asking. food they killing prayer they stop taking their mother's milk so why you want to give milk it is actually not required first but in human setup milk is considered as a very complete and good food when people are fasting they drink milk after milk there are uh, scenarios okay bachcha school ja raha hai they give a glass of milk dood nahi pee raha even that is also a concern for the parents ki bachcha to dood hi nahi le raha hai strong kaise hoga so that this is, is way that is the concept okay proprietary drinks dena hi hai bachcha football ho chuka hai lekin fir bhi hame proprietary drinks dena hai so these are certain myths what i think needs to be removed i always counsel parents not to give milk give milk product i will get calories kyunki yes, maximum of the population in today's scenario they are obese underweight bahut kam milte hain तो अंडरवेट में हेडेक कम रहता है कि काटने की ऑप्शंस कम रहते हैं ज्यादा डालने के ऑप्शंस हमारे पास है लेकिन प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट्स व्हेन वी हैव टू कट डाउन द फूड बिकॉज टू एक्सप्लेन पेरेंट्स कि दूध नहीं देकर आप ये दे सकते हैं इट बिकम्स अ चैलेंज फॉर देम कि ये कैसे हो सकता है दिस डिशन डजेंट नो सो दैट इज वन चैलेंज द सेकेंड वन क्वेश्चन वॉज देर अबाउट कीपिंग द मिल्क हाउ टू रिमूव द फैट एक्चुअली in a uh, uh, you know when the milk what i explain to parents or the to the patient jo khatal ka doodh hota hai wahi doodh ko pasteurized karke usko authentic bana kar and then it is being packed and packaged and then it is supplied it's not that ki alag se doodh banaya jata hai but there are certain techniques which actually removes the bacteria viruses whatever is unhealthy for the human beings because uh, you, uh wait a minute because uh, if you all have gone i uh, through the journals bovine is a product a uh, end product which is there present in the milk i don't know i'm sorry i joined in late i don't know what all points has been discussed so this bovine is actually injected to the cattle to produce whole milk this bovine yes. is not tolerated neither digested by the cattle and surprisingly this bovine when the milk is unpasteurized and taken gets digested only by human enzyme and this bovine actually you know destroys the pancreas if you look into type 1 gm in pediatrics and if you go through the google search the journals you will find that this bovine is the main reason for your you know destruction of the pancreas in pediatric population which results in type 1 diabetes mellitus but again long time back people children they used to take this milk they did not had this problem but this problem is increasing in today's scenario so again yes. many many studies are going behind this the second yes. thing what i want to say i spoke about pasteurization similarly this milk when is un, when undergoes this pasteurization process there is another pro process which is actually termed as can anybody tell me how this milk is removed from the uh, sorry fat is removed from the milk anybody and what is written in the packet s n f what is that can anybody say i am not talking about s n f i am talking about ha yes arunima tell ma'am centrifugation yes it's called centrifugal separation so when we did our 
uh, uh, we had lab laboratory of foods and nutrition where we had this separation of protein, fats, carbohydrate. We have undergone this process. Okay, like for protein, we have the Jaldal method of analyzing the protein. So similarly, there are techniques. So this milk fat, and what is this milk fat termed as? Anybody? Um, it's when, an it's, uh, solid non-fat that I told. No, what is this milk yeah. fat? It's called as butter fat. So okay, when sorry. you centrifugal separation is a method where this fat is removed from the milk. And it's a very high tech procedure. Okay. But at home scale, now when coming back to the uh, question, what about the people who stays in interiors? So that means they won't take any milk product or they don't, won't get, take milk tea. So what they are going to do, there is a technique at home scale. What they can do is like they can boil the milk and they can, like Shomendu mentioned, remove the fat. So around 8 to 10 times you have to remove this fat. Then only you can give that milk. Again, if you compare with the one with the those or using your centrifugal separator or separation method, it won't be okay. as far as that one. But again, definitely to a lot of extent, you can remove this butter fat from the milk. Yes. So you can uh, guide your patients that eight to ten times you have to keep on. You boil once, but when you keep it in the refrigerator, remove it. For eight to 10, 10 times, you will yourself. You can try this. Buy a packet of full fat milk. Try this at home at home scale. You see, definitely it will work out. The uh, layer of this fat will definitely come down as compared to what you did it at one first attempt. You do it for eight to 10, 10 times, it will come out. But again, yes, it is not at par as what the uh, you know high tech uh, gadgets can do. But again, at home scale, for those who are unable to approach or get that skimmed, double toned, toned milk, it is difficult. It is an ease for them, at least to some extent. Ma'am, so can water be added? To what? To milk. Make it thin. People are generally. Uh, why you want to add water? Why Devomita? Any concept behind this to add water? You can share your views if you. No are... such concept, uh, sir. Actually, uh, since I it's never volume... tell my pa pa patients to paid. add water when I bake a when okay. you plan a diet chart, for example. If you all remember, whatever mm -hmm. diet chart you all prepare, it is with the raw weight, right? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so for dry yes, ingredients, it is basically a raw weight. So when you prescribe 150 ml of milk, suppose, for example, for breakfast, so you are calculating with 150 ml milk, a calorie and protein. Anything diluted, milk should not be diluted. That is what I have learned from my pediatric endocrinologist. Osmolality gets affected. Absorption oh, yes. of it will be difficult. That's what I have learned. So I never prescribe my patients, uh, you know, to mix water with milk. Take it the way it is. You just tell after planning that this much ml of milk and milk product needs to be given. Let them segregate accordingly. How much curd they want to have, how much paneer what they want to have, how much milk they want to have. When when they are having milk, it is raw milk. Just boil it, measure it, and give it. Thank you, ma'am. Rajanna, any question? No. <coughs> you have raised your hand, Rajanna. No question. So we conclude the session here uh, because uh, and no more question is there. So thank you to all the speakers. Thank you, Atanu. Thank you, Kostab. Thank you, Shorodip. And thank you, Shobhi. Uh, in a very short time you have prepared. So we are coming with more presentations, more new topics, myths and facts about diabetes, cooking methods, lifestyle modifications, functional foods. So all our very uh, upcoming topics are there in November. So I will share that uh, link with different colleges whom uh, you have 
many people have joined i can see many new faces so i will share that with uh, with you all and you can enjoy learning uh, new new things so uh, anything from kosta botonu any last note you want to say anything so nothing to say thank you all thank you everyone for joining today's session and i hope we you get something new from our presentations and enjoy our session thank you very much thank you all thank you all for your patience learning and i hope we you we all have found something new and thank you for all thank you for joining today thank you thank you sir thank, thank you, you ma'am i missed the presentation yes. it's always good to learn but again i missed it i hope it was good enough but again you all have taken such an initiative i think it is the right list uh just i want to show one thing this is the malai rim so tc all ma'am has suggested removing it for at least 4 to 5 times we can remove it more so from this a2 this is the this is the malai from the a2 milk so if we consume this much of fat can go into our body so this will be prepared separately this malai will be prepared used to prepare ghee at home but uh, the amul or the mother dairy or the metro dairy we do not use to get this this kind of thick malai uh, to prepare ghee i see in my village or in my uh, hometown i have seen this in my childhood again i am seeing this so i don't know how much safe taking this uh, daily but it is komala i think 4.8 gram of fat in this uh, country like me guys thank you all uh, good night everyone and i will post the recording also i will crop the recording and i will propose a presentation part also so it will be only 35 minutes of presentation